Hey, this is Joseph Lebrecht with a quick tip for Flash Professional CC 2015. Here we're going to talk a bit about variable width strokes. So if I go ahead and just draw a simple line, and let's change the stroke color of our line to something that shows up nicely against my black background, so something like this orange. And I'll just draw that across the stage here. Right now we can see, especially if we have this selected with the selection tool, that it's a simple stroke, there's no fill associated with it, and we have a one point stroke here, and the style is solid with the variable width profile being the default. Of course, if we change the stroke width, we can tell a lot more about the stroke. So here we can see that we have rounded caps, you can also change that, of course, to none or to square. Let's keep it at rounded. And for join, we can choose miter, round, or bevel. So that's really nothing new. However, this right here is something a lot of people probably haven't seen, unless you've been using Flash Professional over the past year or so, because this was introduced in uh, Flash Professional CC 2014, and of course carries over into the new version as well. So these are variable width profiles. So let's go ahead and have a look at these. We can see here that choosing any of these profiles actually makes adjustments in terms of the width here. It varies quite a bit across the actual line. So how this works is in conjunction with the width tool. If we choose this, we can then modify the different width profile points across our stroke. So we can see here that I can make all sorts of different slight adjustments at any point along our stroke. And I can also shift anything that already exists. So I can click on any of these pieces here and simply move them to change the actual profile that I'm working with. You can also do things such as hold down modifier keys such as Alt and that will allow us to change one side or the other to any of these strokes to make some really interesting effects here. When we're finished we can actually select this and you can see that our variable with profile shows up here. And if we want to use this across other projects inside of Flash Professional, we can add this to our profiles. So we can call this squiggle or whatever we want to call it, right? And hit OK. So now when we actually go ahead and create another stroke here, instead of recreating the variable with stroke with our width tool, we can actually go ahead and find our squiggle preset right there. And of course, changing our stroke is going to change how it appears. Also, since these are real strokes, we can use any of the normal tools to adjust how the stroke appears.